During the coronavirus pandemic, personal protection equipment is really hard to come by, especially those N95 face masks. Sean Stiles shares with, uh, with us how the Rock Church is bringing back to life 300,000 expired masks that San Diego County has in storage. Personal protection equipment, PPEs, are a hot commodity, especially those N95 masks. Well, the County of San Diego found a stash of 300,000. The problem was they were expired. The straps were no longer good. But the folks at the Rock Church have come together and have solved the problem. And we just didn't want to just sit home and do nothing. And so we just decided to come here and be a part of what The Rock is doing because Rock seems to always get involved. And that's why we joined this church, because uh, we want to help people. That's all. Necessity is the mother of invention. So when The Rock Church heard that the county of San Diego had 300,000 N95 face masks that had never been used and were perfectly good, but that the use-by date had passed because the elastic straps were old, they came up with a solution. I've been working with the Office of Emergency Services, partnering with them, and they, they provided the masks. And we're just changing out the rubber bands because the rubber bands are breaking. So we're putting new rubber bands on them and so that the nurses and uh, medical personnel can use these. Volunteers came together today to start work on the first batch of 40,000. The modifications to the N95 face masks was approved by the Center for Disease Control because the respirators meet CDC requirements. We want to see people, you know, just healthy. Work began today at the Rock Church campus in Point Loma, where volunteers split two three-hour shifts. You needed to be 18 years of age and, of course, maintain social distancing. The Rock Church received their first 40,000 and have reassembled those to make them available to health care workers, but they still have over 200,000 to retrofit. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sean. The church is still looking for volunteers to help. For more information, we have a link on the hot button at CBS8.com.